Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you create a new project for the Angular and uh, I will use the service uh, for the REST API that is uh, created earlier. So uh, create a, a new project uh, for the consuming REST API. So uh, here we have a new folder, create a new directory in, in your desktop that is uh, ASP.NET Core YT that is YT channel that is YouTube channel and uh, here in, in this video I'm going to add a new project for the angular so ng new type the command that is ng new and the uh, project name that is in student info so just type it student info and wait for some times to create angular project in a uh, in in our uh, directory so here we have and enable the routing also so just click on the y and uh, yes just i want to use routing angular routing and wait for some times to install this project easily and uh, in this video i am going to add uh, some uh, topics related to your uh, angular project that is uh, that that is the navigation bar and uh, add uh, some uh, material features so angular material is the best ui uh, to add uh, in a man uh, in angular so here we have so just type code space dot and open that project in your uh, uh, visual studio code so just type in the command in the terminal uh, that is ng serve and uh, serve your project on your web browser so the default uh, actually port number is 4200 that is uh, initialized so here we have a default routing so uh, app.component.html first of all delete all these files and here we have that that is the starting point of your angular project so first of all create a navigation bar in the top side so just add a new folder inside your app folder uh, that is the top nav and inside the top nav you have to add a new component so uh, if you want to add component in angular so just type it uh, ng g g for global c for component and that component name so first of all move to this directory uh, by using the command that is change directory cd src cd app and cd top now okay and after that you can uh, do this command ng g g for global c for component and the component name that is navbar so here we have okay so the component is created under the folder that is top nav and the component name you can see that nav bar component okay so uh, here we have the top nav component and inside we have four files the first one is the css file the second one is the html file and third one is typescript uh, testing file and the last one is the typescript file and in which we have only the three files is required testing is ignored Okay, so the navbar.component.html file is there. So now, here we have Angular material. So just uh, type it in the Google that is Angular material and uh, add that material command in your uh, command line. So just use this command and install the Angular material features. So just open your uh, Visual Studio code and terminal and here we have just add first of all uh, do the command uh, first of all apply some command like cd dot dot to change the directory and root of your directory to apply the material command angular material command so here we have so now just ng add at the rate angular slash material and install the material with the theme with the proper theme so here we have using packages manager npm you found that a compatible package version 13.3.3 .3 and the package angular will would you like to proceed yes i just i want to proceed the angular material 13.3.3 .3 and install the proper theme which is related to the material and material provide uh, four types of theme actually and four to five types of themes uh, in in the uh, material like the indigo pink deep purple amber pink blue gray purple green and the custom 
so just install the pink blue uh, pink purple themes so here we have browser animation you want to uh, install yes just I want to use angular animations so here we select pink blue gray theme now after installing the material uh, in the system so just add navigation bar so in the navigation bar component you can add these HTML file HTML source code here we have a matte toolbar and the color is primary so just go to the material component and search the toolbar first of all and here we have a toolbar and just use the API command of the toolbar so here we have a toolbar and just go for the API and select that API reference import mat toolbar module just copy that code and paste inside your app module that is your top module file app module.ts file so here we have and just paste that command just, just paste the API command it here here we have and also use this module in the imports section so mat toolbar module just use it here in, in the inside the uh, uh, inside the imports folder oops so just copy only that thing mat toolbar module and paste it here okay so now the mat toolbar is enabled you can see in the nav bar components so here we have nav bar components uh, we have mat toolbar color is primary div class container router link mat fab color is ancient and mat icon is home so just install the mat icon in the components just go for the mat uh, first of all add button api so just use this api and after that we go for the purple theme and the proper theme and flexbox grid also in the next video so first of all import the button uh, module so mat button module just use this uh, mat button module component uh, api uh, in the import section also so now the next thing is to add that is icon so here we have three uh, import modules that is that mat toolbar mat button and mat, mat icon so just go for the api and use mat icon so just copy that code and paste under the app module.ts file and here we have and just copy that mat icon module and paste inside your import section so here we have now the whole whole thing is clear and here we have a router link that is students mat raise button and students where we want to display all the students with their list so the next thing is app component.html file and here we have two things that one thing is related to the top navigation and the next one is router outlet where our router outlet display all the router links so in the uh, top navigation bar select the selector app nav bar and just copy that code and paste it here app component.html that is the root file of your angular projects so app nav bar is display uh, or you can say that uh, your navigation will display that is the top of the site so just serve that command and display the outputs okay so uh, next we have to again apply the serve command in your terminal so ng serve command will apply on your terminal ng serve okay here we have and you can see your uh, toolbar on the top of the site so uh, in the local host 4200 and you will display your top navigation bar with the one button control 
and the button control when we click on the button control your routing will not uh, display so that is the part of the routing when we click on the students then uh, you are uh, with have a students text so the next chapter is to uh, going for the routing and you can say that is static routing before going to the routing first of all add a new component that is related which is related to the students so in the app uh, folder you you can see here we have a top nav that is the folder and directory name so just under the app section you will add a new folder a new directory that is the student list and the student view you can see so here we have a app routing module and you can see uh, under the app folder you can just add a new directory that name is student view students slash student students and okay so add a new directory that is students and under the students section you can add two new thing that is a uh, first one is a student uh, model and the second one is a student view that is the ui section and the, that is the uh, model section so uh, first of all add a model section and the next one is to add the ui section so here we have a model and the view but you can see that uh, there is a not uh, perfectly th uh, things to add students view so just delete first of all move to recycle bin and here we have only the students uh, directory and under the students directory add a new directory and you can add a student view and you can say student ui section okay and here we have to add a new component for the related to the list of the students where we i where uh, i want to show the list of the students so add a new command in the uh, in the proper directory so just use first of all cd app students slash student view oops okay uh, src is not uh, included at here so first of all add src oops now one by one to add cd cd app cd students slash cd students view okay that's fine now after that you have to add a new component in the students view folder so nggc student students list okay in the students list i want to display all the students from the api that is created in the earlier video and in the routing section just define the routing that is the default domain routing where path is a double uh, single slashes and uh, the component call is a student list similarly the second routing is to call path is the students and component is the same now you can check in the students list also students list work okay so when we click on the students and the home tab in the top navigation bar that module will be display sorry that component will be display so the next uh, in the top navigation in the navigation bar you can see that router link is there router link is the students so in the student when we click on the students then that display so in the routing you can define the students that is the router link name so just copy that and paste it here and in the path you can set students and the component is the same so here we have so now thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to angular asp.net core project okay so uh, here we have some simple CRUD operation will display in angular that is the ui part and the code behind part and the business logic part reside in your 
in your API that is REST API ESP.NET Core. So thank you very much for watching this video.